is Doug Stewart uh, at the SIC Digital Conference talking to the coaches today. And right now, we're going to talk to Steelman head coach Teddy Keaton. Coach Keaton, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. Talk about this coming season. We mentioned it a little bit earlier. You have quarterback Josh Strong back who was injured last year. Last year just doing phenomenal before he got injured. Um, how's his health and, and how excited are you guys to have him back? His health is great. We, it's obviously it's a great opportunity for us to have our trigger man back. I think when you, you, go, you know, if you're an offensive guy, you can't win ball games all the way from the NFL all the way down without a trigger man. Josh is the epitome of a trigger man, and I feel elated to have him back. And especially we're facing probably our most difficult schedule that we've ever faced in, 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 since I've been the head coach at Stillman. We've got two one double A's on our program. We got a, some top ranked, you know, Division two teams, and we still got to play the ones that I got to play every day against. So our focus this year is just trying to, you know, maintain individuality each game and try to make sure that we stay focused game to game and finish. You know, last year we finished two points away from being eight and, eight and four, eight and two. But, you know, the ball rolled another way. So we want to just concentrate on finish and work it each day to get better. What, what's something, what's a phase of your team that you think is going to be uh, a strong point? Obviously, my whole team is. I think offensively, we're good. I think defensively, we're good. I, it was some areas on, on um, special teams that I had to change the kicking part of it. Those one or two point ball games where we got down in the red zone and we didn't have an opportunity to get points when we needed to get points because our kicker you know, wasn't what I needed it to be. So we've made some changes there. And, and obviously, our run game a little bit more when we get down there being able to punch it in and finish a drive off. Talk about uh, your, your defense uh, a little bit more and some guys that we may not have heard of that are coming in this year that you think are going to be big contributors? Well, I have 11 starters returning on defense, so I'm excited about that. This is my senior heavy class. I've got 37 seniors on this team, so I'm excited about the opportunity. I think defensively, we finished number 12th in the country this last year defensively, so I'm not overly concerned about them. I'm just more worried about us mixing some schemes up and do some different things. Uh, I have a new defensive coordinator, um, Bruce Jackson, is going to do a, a tremendous job in that area. I think they, they, they're gelling and the players are going to love them. I, I'm excited about the opportunity. I guess a better question is a guy that's really going to take a jump up and level of play that may have been working hard over the offseason or you saw some good things in the spring that you think may help the team? I think that guy is Michael Harrod. Michael Harrod was one of those wide. He's my Sam linebacker. He's done a really good job. He's gotten bigger, faster, and stronger. His instincts are good. You know, I believe in speed. Everything about my team is speed. Um, I think he's done a great job, and, and I think he's done it. What he's excelled at is he's gotten better at the pass coverage. He's been getting in his drop, sinking the hook to curl, and I'm very proud of that. And his tackling in the open field has gotten tremendously better. How excited is it to be in the West Division in general? You know, you got the division with Tuskegee and uh, some real giants in college football. Uh, do you guys get amped up for that? Uh, obviously, you know, I think that a lot of people didn't see this coming from the Stillman part of it. When we got into this conference, they thought the, the, the East was going to be it, Albany State, Fort Valley. But, you know, last year, if you really look at it, Kentucky State played well, Lane played well, Stillman played well, Miles played well. We all kind of canceled each other out. So it was kind of like, you know, every week now you have to come ready to play. And, you know, I like it because it, 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 it helps the kids focus a little more. Right, right. Okay, there he is. Teddy. Teddy Keaton, the head coach of the Stillman College Tigers, and uh, you're watching the SIC Digital Network.